culture visually, actively, and artistically, allows for an inspirational and emotional outlet of all individuals. Between the 1920s and 1930s, a rush of African American culture and creativity allowed for a spirit of independence and self expression among a demographic constantly suffering from continual oppression and discrimination. Such a period of expression in the Harlem Renaissance was called the period of African American rebirth and of affirmation of the American dream. Education of a constantly deemed subordinate class remained irrelevant and unimportant. Opportunities within the educational and intellectual fields of African Americans displayed constant discriminatory behaviors, inclusive of the refusal of black students in their respective fields, namely art. Augusta Savage, born in 1892, displayed interest in the arts and sculpture from a young age. Early success allocated some small funds that allowed her to travel in an, in an attempt to make money from sculpting the busts of African Americans. However, in a small success, Savage was denied a scholarship in a French university summer program as a result of her school. Despite such hardships, Savage displayed success and prominence in her artwork and propelled her division of the American dream through endurance and self-determination. Furthermore, her ideals and religious depictions within her artwork attended to the beliefs of others, such as her father, and helps of encouraging and appealing to other individuals' interpretations of such a promising Religion and a core system of beliefs created a poignant central focus for many artists of the Harlem Renaissance. Focused on expressing his religious beliefs in his artwork, Aaron Douglas's paintings and work became a primary source of inspiration and expression. Born in Kansas in 1899, Douglas's early interest in art, in part due to the separate art endeavors of his mother, fostered a future career as a successful teacher and artist. Primarily, Douglas's work depicted his signature silhouettes and light colors, creating a plethora of famous religious scenes. Commonly referred to as the father of black American art, Douglas's passionate artwork was utilized by various ministers, abolitionists, and politicians who analyzed the underlying message of the frequent oppression of African American individuals. Douglas's focus on the strain and toil of the African American individual within the bonds of slavery signified the belief and fascination with the self and body, as well as a con constant racial prejudice despite constant discrimination against outward appearance. Utilizing art to attend to and facilitate personal beliefs and endeavors provides an outlet of emotional and idealistic expression. Richard Barthé, a Harlem Renaissance sculptor, remained around one of the first primarily successful sculptors of the age to gain significant critical success and achievement. In his early 20s, Barthé moved to the bustling city of New York, where he conversed and socialized with other prominent Harlem Renaissance artists, such as Langston Hughes and Augusta Savage. There, he discovered his true interest in celebrating the black body and African heritage and culture. Fascinated by the power, physique, and form of the male body, Barthé sculpted famous men in either a religious or formal scene. In other works, such as The Mother, Barthé exposed the horrors of slavery and lynching, drawing to attention the stagnant and continued discrimination of African-American individuals, increasing his own prominence and importance in society. Additionally, Barthé's acclaimed success provided enough monetary income for him to escape poverty. Through self-expression and the representation of personal ideals through his pieces, Barthé displayed a diligence and dedication in achieving the racially acceptance American dream. Despite the common attribution of slavery with African Americans in the Harlem Renaissance, some artists choose to depict bright and vivid scenes of African culture and ethnic traditions. One such artist remained Louis Malio Jr who offered to utilize vivid colors and eye-catching textures to express culture and character throughout their work. Jones attributes her early interest in the arts to her mother, a, a beautician, and thus proceeded to work towards an eventual career in the arts. Jones first faced racial prejudice when she was flatly denied a scholarship to a summer university art program, solely turned away as a result of her skin color. Thus, Jones moved to France, where she found solace from racial discrimination and had an opportunity to focus solely on creating her art. During her time in France, Jones created art that depicted common African culture and tradition, and deep and enticing colors and textures. Battling constant discrimination and prejudice, Jones focused primarily on the positive aspects and history of African culture, paying tribute to a heritage so full of spirit and self-expression. Thus, Jones's works inspired the adoption of common African culture, and propelled a feeling of optimism into the hearts of those searching for their fair share of the American dream.
fascination with the human life and African American culture and tradition found itself displayed in many art pieces throughout the Harlem Renaissance. One such expressionist remained Archibald Motley, an African American painter who depicted lively parties and concerts with rich colors and striking hues, and employed diverse, unique, and expressive characters. An interest in the arts and African American culture from a young age propelled Motley to paint such works, demonstrating his innate interest with the pregnancy and complexity of modern life. Motley created his artwork to purposefully emphasize amusing and fun atmospheres, color intricate designs, and rhythm in order to evoke a feeling of obstructing cultural normalities and prejudice. Commonly, Motley's pieces remained an alluring symbol of the Harlem Renaissance as the period's distinct features of African American creativity, respect, cultural acceptance, and respect characterize and liven within his work. Expression of a culture denotes confidence in self and one's place in society. In speaking out against prejudice and discrimination, artists of the Harlem Renaissance demonstrate the capacity of their creativity and unique profound abilities to create works that argue for change, namely equality. Furthermore, art represented an outlook for personal emotions and a vehicle to inspire and propel the delegation of the American dream among colored people. The Harlem Renaissance represented a period of expressionism and creativity that affirmed the innate power of individuals and the capacity of their voices in influencing positive changes within an ever-changing society.